Exhausted from school, Marina arrived home to the familiar cacophony of her parents bickering. She sighed and rolled her eyes, weary of their ongoing disagreements. As Marina entered the room, she saw her little sister Laura in tears. She immediately walked up to her and embraced her tightly, feeling immense sorrow for the toddler who was scared by the shouting voices. Marina took Laura into her room and calmed her. She then gave Laura a notebook and crayons to keep her busy. Once Laura was comforted, Marina went to her parents' bedroom. Her mother, Ursula was yelling at her father for not doing enough to get a job. Marina's father Jeff had recently lost his job, and managing the household expenses was challenging. Why don't you go and hunt for more jobs? My salary is not enough to feed everyone and manage other expenses. Ursula yelled at the top of her. Jeff looked disturbed. I'm trying. Ursula, please give me some time. I will land a job. I know it Jeff said to her, but Ursula laughed and taunted Jeff for being poor and becoming dependent on her. Marina couldn't stand the look on her father's face, so she spoke up. Mom, please don't be so mean to Dad. He will get a job. Please stop yelling. Laura gets. Ursula scowled at her and said, You always support your father. You never even once think about me, Marina. I am the one who is paying your school fees and feeding you. You better watch that tone. Marina felt terrible for her parents. She hoped that her parents would calm down and talk about their problems. She went through her room and saw Laura smiling and coloring. Marina asked her if she wanted to eat something and she nodded. Marina cut some apples for her and fed. After that, Laura slept on Marina's bed. Marina patted her little sister's forehead and kissed her. She then changed and opened her bag to finish the homework. It was getting late at night and Laura was hungry. Jeff called Ursula, but she did not receive the call. He went to the kitchen and prepared some eggs for dinner. Marina fed Laura and then took her to her room. Laura was upset because she wanted to sleep with Ursula. Marina felt heartbroken for her little sister. She was 13 years old and understood the problems between her parents. But Laura was too young to process anything. At 2 a.m. Marina woke up to have some water. She left her room, came outside and looked outside the living room window. She saw her mother kissing a guy and laughing with her. Marina was disgusted. She couldn't believe that her mother was flirting with someone. Ursula saw Marina looking at her and she quickly sent the guy back and came inside. Ursula said to Marina, whatever you saw should stay between us. Marina, you are too young to understand what I'm going through, so please don't create drama by telling your dad. Marina had tears in her eyes. She nodded and then went to her room and cried. She knew that soon her family would be broken and Laura would suffer the most. The following day, Ursula left before Marina woke. She saw her dad preparing breakfast and felt terrible for him, but she stayed quiet. Jeff asked her why she was quiet, but she smiled and said she was worried about her test. Jeff believed her and sipped his coffee Marina left for school and couldn't stop thinking about her parents. When she returned, she was welcomed by the same arguments between her parents. She was sick and tired of her home's disturbing environment. She took Laura with her and went outside to a nearby. Marina hated it when Laura got scared and cried terribly sitting in the park and watching Laura playing made Marina smile. She was glad to play her little part in making her sister happy. When Marina returned home, she and Laura rushed to hug their uncle John. John was Jeff's younger brother who lived in another town. He often came to visit his brother and his family. Marina loved her uncle John. He always brought them gifts and chocolates and took Marina on the out. John had heard the heated argument between Jeff and Ursula. 
He asked Marina if everything was okay and she said dad has lost his job and mom is tired of managing all the expenses. John nodded and decided to help his brother out. Jeff was embarrassed to see his brother when he came out of his room. John pretended as if he had heard nothing and hugged his brother. He chatted for a bit and then took the girls out for lunch. They invited Ursula too, but she shook her head and angrily stormed out of the. The girls, John and Jeff went to their favorite restaurant on the other side of the city. Marina helped Laura sit and enjoy her fries. Meanwhile, the brothers chatted. Jeff confided in John and told him everything about his job and how his savings were almost finished. John told him he would try his best to find his brother's job. Jeff felt happy and liked to share his concerns with his only brother. After having lunch, John took Laura and Marina for ice cream. Marina gave ice cream to Laura and then held hers, but Laura dropped hers and looked at Marina with tears in her eyes. Marina smiled, kissed her sister and gave her little sister her ice cream, which she wanted to enjoy. Marina's kindness moved. John and Jeff, you will always have me. Laura Marina kissed her little sister, Jeff patted Marina, and praised her for her kindness. They all had a wonderful. Marina felt good to take a break from the tense environment of her house, and Laura also played and laughed to her heart's content. At night, John left for the airport and promised Jeff that he would return soon. Ursula did not return that night at home. Jeff was increasingly worried about her, and Marina felt sad to see him. She told her dad not to worry about Ursula as she would be outside with her boyfriend. But she remembered that her mom had told her to stay quiet and not say a single. So, she stood mute and watched her dad pacing back and forth, waiting for Ursula to come home. Jeff decided to go to Ursula's office and ask where she went. He asked Marina to lock the door and take care of Laura. Marina did what her father told her. She returned to her room and tucked Laura into the bed. After that, she prayed that her mother would come back. Jeff returned late at night. He looked devastated. He had gone to Ursula's workplace and learned that she had left the office early with the boss at 6 p.m., but Jeff was worried that she hadn't returned home. Jeff kept calling her, but she did not answer. He decided to go to the police station the following morning to find his wife. The following day, Ursula came home. She had also brought an old man along with. Marina looked at the man and remembered that he was the same person. Her mom had kissed. Jeff asked Ursula who she had brought, but she did not answer. She packed her bags and announced that she was leaving. I can't stay with you, Jeff. You are a failure, and I was stupid to marry you and destroy my life. You can't even find a job and managed household expenses. I am tired of earning and holding the fort. Ursula kept talking and Jeff couldn't believe his ears. Ursula, I told you I'm trying hard to get a job. Trust me one day I will give you a comfortable life. Please don't do this to me. Jeff begged her to stay, but Ursula grabbed his boyfriend's hand and left the door. Marina stopped her. Mom, please don't go Marina and I need you. Marina said, with tears in her eyes. But Ursula kissed her and left. Marina saw her dad dumbfounded and sitting on the couch staring at the he felt humiliated by his wife. He closed his eyes and shook his head. Marina brought him a glass of water and he hugged her. Marina Kahn's consoled her dad and said that everything would be okay. Again. Ursula was happy the day she walked out of her house. Her boyfriend was a millionaire and she loved spending his money. She moved into a bigger apartment traveled in luxury cars, and bought everything she liked. Ursula had immersed herself in Lux. She did not even think once about her daughters or her husband. She was glad that she had freed herself from the mediocre life and was enjoying the life she always wanted. 
Jeff was worried about how to manage the house without money. His wife was earning and managing all the expenses. He had nothing except a couple of dollars in his wallet. He needed to find a job soon, so he left the house and went hunting for jobs. He walked miles and miles and asked different shops and restaurants if they wanted. Finally, after a week of job hunting, a small cafe hired him, but the wage was not enough. But Jeff decided to earn something to put food on the table for his daughters. When Marina left for school, Jeff would drop Laura off at daycare and go to work every day. He would then pick up Laura and Marina from school and drop them home. Marina was happy that her father had finally found a job, but it broke her heart how hard her father worked for. Marina would take care of her little sister, clean the house, cook for her father, and take time out for her studies. Time went on and Jeff was earning well. He had landed a better and well-paying job in the corporate sector. His daughters were older and loved him. It had been 10 years since Ursula had left them. Jeff still remembered how badly Ursula had hurt him and his daughters by leaving him. But Marina always motivated him to move on and forget the bitter. One day Laura requested Jeff allow her to go on a trip with her friends. Jeff refused to let her go, but Marina insisted that Laura should go and have fun. Laura loved her sister for always having her back. She thanked Jeff and Marina and left for the trip. Marina was happy that her sister was enjoying life. Laura had not spent much time with her mother and often felt her absence. Marina went to school to pick up Laura and saw a familiar face. It was their mother, Ursula. And she smiled at Marina. Ursula had changed a lot in 10 years. She looked richer and was wearing designer accessories and dresses. She smiled at Marina, but she did not respond. Are you still madding at me? Marina? Ursula asked. Marina did not reply, but Ursula kept staring. You left dad and us when we needed you. You were selfish. Mom, Marina replied. Ursula explained that she was not happy with Jeff and loved someone else, but Marina did not respond to her. A few minutes later, Laura came to them. She asked Marina who she was talking to. This is our mother, Laura, the one who walked out on us. Marina replied to her. Laura was shocked to see her mother after so many years. She kept staring at her and Ursula hugged, Oh, Laura, you've grown so much, Ursula. But Laura did not respond to her. Ursula then begged Marina to have coffee with her. Marina refused, but Laura requested that they should go with her. Marina finally agreed and Ursula led them to their luxurious car. Laura was impressed with Ursula's car and her accessories. She kept looking at her and Marina was afraid that Laura might want to return to her mother after having coffee. Ursula said, I want you both to live with me. I have everything, girls. I can give you a life your dad couldn't even imagine giving you. Marina got angry. She grabbed Laura's hand and left the cafe. When they returned home, Marina told Laura to stay quiet about dad. She did not want to upset him. Laura agreed, but her mind was stuck on her mother. Laura knew her mother left Jeff when she was three years old, but she did not know the exact reason why Ursula. The following day, Ursula showed up at Laura's school. She was there again to pick her up and take her to a fancy lunch. Laura was excited to see her mom again, so she called Marina and told her she was going to a friend's place. Laura was happy that her mom was back. She wanted to spend time with her and ask her why she had left. Ursula took Laura to a big restaurant and chatted about her school and favorite subjects. Laura loved being in her. She wished her mom had stayed with them and together they would have been the perfect family. When Laura returned, Marina asked her where she had been and she lied again. 
Marina knew her sister was hiding something and did not trust her. The following day, Marina spotted Laura going with Ursula. She decided to talk to Laura about it. When she came back home, Ursula had decided to convince Laura to stay with her. She created a fake story to make her daughter support. Ursula told Laura that Jeff was a violent man and used to abuse her emotionally. She further lied that Jeff was involved with another woman and cheated on her multiple times. Laura couldn't believe her ears. She had never thought that her dad could abuse someone. Laura stayed quiet and returned home. She felt terrible for whatever happened to mom and wanted to talk to dad. When Laura came back, Marina scolded her for going with Ursula. Laura became angry at her elder sister and said, She's my mom, Marina. It's my right to see her. Please don't act like my mom. Marina was hurt to see her sister talk back. She had sacrificed her happiness and childhood for her sister, and listening to Laura speak to her disrespectfully hurt her. Laura told Marina everything that Ursula had said to her. Marina was shocked about how her mother could lie to Laura. Marina shook her head and replied, it was not dad who cheated on. Dad was always sincere with mom, but when dad lost his job, mom started cheating on him. And then one day she walked ahead of his life with his rich and old boyfriend. Laura. Mom is lying to you and wants you back in her life. Laura was confused. She wanted to live with her mom, but couldn't leave Marina and her dad. She tossed and turned in her bed trying to find the best solution for the problem. Finally, she got an idea of how to discover the true story behind her parents' divorce. She grabbed her cell phone and called Uncle John. She asked John to tell her why her mom had walked out, and John told her the same thing as Marina. Laura finally knew that her mother was lying and decided to teach her mom a lesson. The next day, Marina went to school to confront Ursula and warned her to stay away from her. But Laura insisted they all go to lunch. Marina agreed, but she told Laura that it would be the last time she would see Ursula and Laura agreed. When they arrived at the restaurant, Ursula gave Laura a beautiful ring. She told her it was a reunion gift and she could buy Laura many amazing things if she came and lived with her. Marina looked at Laura's happiness while looking at the ring. She was scared to lose her sister, but what Laura did surprise her. She closed the ring's box and kept it back. Mom, this ring cannot make up for the time I spent without you, you were a terrible mother for leaving us for your fun. Marina had to take your responsibility at such a young age and raise me. Laura said, Ursula pretended to cry and said, Oh, I wish I could stay around you, but your dad was so abusive. Marina knew about him, but she never. Ursula lied and accused Marina of something she never did. Laura rolled her eyes and replied, Mom, I called Uncle John and he told me everything. You are lying. You are the one who decided to walk out of our lives and now when you are alone with no one to love and care for you, want me back in your life? I am sorry. That's not going to happen. Marina was surprised at what Laura said. She smiled at her and Laura. I wish I could forgive you, Mom, but I'm sorry I don't have a big heart. You try portraying Dad as a villain for me. I've never seen my dad raising his voice, let alone hitting someone. Marina and dad are everything to me. There is no place in my life for you. Goodbye. Laura and Marina left and Ursula saw her daughters leaving her. Ursula had all the money she had always wanted, but she had lost the love of her family. There was no one in her life to love or spend time with. She cried and regretted the mistakes she had made a decade ago. If she had stayed faithful to Jeff, she could have experienced the love of her family and her two beautiful daughters. But now it was too late. Marina and Laura returned home and saw Jeff preparing dinner for. Laura ran towards him and hugged him. I love you, Dad. 
Laura exclaimed and Jeff kissed her head. Marina smiled at her little family and baby sister Laura, who grew up. She went to her dad and Laura and hugged them. Marina felt happy seeing her family content without the daily arguments and debates that were once common in her house.